So this next pack are these conversion arms. First of all, you install the conversion arm under the nacelle. This is a 2.5 millimeter fastener, just like It goes on the inboard side of the nacelle and it goes up right in this. And there's a couple little alignment pins that align it and it goes such that it hangs over the servo slot. So you, don't, you can get that on upside down. While you're getting that one, you might as well get the other side too. Screwing that 2.5 millimeter screw and then get the other side tight. Side tight. Now the the ball, I put a I use red lock tight on this. I've had I I've had these back out on me before, so I I use red lock tight to really get them in there. I use red lock tight on these balls uh, so they really stay. I've had this screw on a rare occasion back out before on me. Got a nice fitting uh, screwdriver. And make sure they're tight. that head sits into that countersunk ball it kind of tightens up and you got to kind of work it in to make sure you get it all the way tight and then the, uh, the cell conversion spindles two of them there's a right and a left And they came out of a different bag, the conversion spindle bag, which is bag seven. Now, they go over and there's four blank slots where you, you left the screws out. And, and they, this conversion spindle has a flat on one side and the frame has a flat. So that's how they line up. Now, if you, if you have the right one with, with this flat lined up with this flat, then the screws will be up just like this one so that means you you got it right and we we don't use washers for this we don't use beauty washers on this So, assuming you did everything right, this is the same way. When that's uh, lined up flat to flat, then these, I think these are the screws. Maybe a little longer. And that's the end of step six. Well, I have uh, some of this conversion uh, spindle hardware out. I'll go ahead and finish up that installation too. The, 
a pot driver gear it comes pretty consistently with two teeth cut off on one side and one teeth cut off the other side and it needs to be modified so two teeth are cut off of both sides so go ahead and cut a, a second tooth so you end up with two teeth off of both sides and also I've noticed that when they cut these back if they if they don't cut it all the way back then it'll drag so just make sure those teeth are cut back far enough to where you can't see the groove for the the old gear tooth and then you know it's cut far enough back it's not going to drag and that helps helps when you're setting up the the nacelle So I'll take the other one and cut off the second tooth on the one side. And then go ahead and clean them up. So now these just uh, slide on this conversion. Uh, and if, if they're correctly installed, when the screw hole is pointing uh, in line with the other screw holes and the gear will be pointing in this fashion here. They kind of be pointing towards the motor. The gear, the screw that goes in the uh, gear itself is this countersunk screw that comes with the pack. I have noticed that sometimes it's hard to get this screw started. If, it, if you're having a hard time getting it started, just pull the plastic gear off. This one went right in. And use a two millimeter screw to clean up the threads. So I'll put the other one on. Make sure the hole's lined up and that's pointing the right direction. Use a little Loctite on the threads, screw that uh, countersunk screw into that plastic gear. While I got the, the pack open, I'll add these two conversion axles. I've got two holes in them and they just line up with the, you've got to put those in before you tighten the screw. They just line up with the two other screw holes. See that in there? And they're this shorter screw, so they don't that shorter screw won't get into the wires that run through that conversion axle. You got it lined up, you can feel it kind of work past. The hole and get into the hole. You want to use that shorter screw. I'll do the other side. Not forgetting to tighten up that countersunk screw after I get it together. And then I'll tighten up the the countersunk screw.